Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Ultimatum deck from Steve Brownlee. Alright, so what is the Ultimatum deck? Uh, it is a deck of cards. Uh, it's a bicycle stock. It is a gimmick deck or a gaff deck, depending on your definition, uh, that enables you to do a couple of different tricks. Uh, it's pretty cool and pretty original, and if you want to see what it looks like, this is it. Try something weird, a few of you. All right, so I'm feeling lazy, so you can do the magic, you do the, the revealing bit. <laughs> so we'll, um, we'll start with the guys. Uh, I'll have to send them, sorry. You, you want to take that? That's it. Anyway, you So that's my part done. So what I want you to do now is face down, just find the three selections. No, no, no I'll explain that to you. <laughs> if you cut the pack into three piles, okay. so leave like a third on the table and then cut again. That's not very even, is it? Uh, if you, want another, you can have it like that, you can have another go. There we go. Are you happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? Do I just... Oh no, what card did you select? Uh, the Queen of the Spades. Queen of the Spades? Nothing of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Ten of the top cards. So that was Steve Brownlee. Uh, you might also recognize Mark Elton. Uh, Peter Nardi also makes an appearance. Uh, this is published by the good people down at Alakazam. So a couple questions we always ask about all of our Magic product reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What is in the box? Uh, you get this box, and uh, on the inside you're going to get a full deck of cards with a case, and then you're going to get a little business card that also has a code, a web code, so that you can go out to the internet and download the video. Okay, so is it what I thought? Uh, no, because I, I really didn't know what to think. Uh, it, it, they promised a brand new idea, and so in trying to think about what it could be, uh, I kind of had some ideas, and you know, you, you're kind of in the ballpark when you're thinking about what it could be, but uh, I did find it very unique and a nice surprise. How are the angles on this? The angles are perfect. You're not going to have any sort of angle issues. Uh, if you watch some of the card effects, you'll see that there really isn't anything to hide uh, slight-wise. Can it be inspected? No, it is a gimmick deck. It is a gaff deck. Similar to how you would handle maybe a Spengali deck, although it's not a long and short deck, uh, I think that would be kind of the same kind of handling that you would have to think about or consider when utilizing the ultimatum deck. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it's, it's moderate. Uh, Mark Elson and Steve Brownlee, they sit at a table through the first part of the teaching. Uh, they go through the first three effects and they have a curtain background. That's about the first 40 minutes of your DVD. The next half is the, a download of the original video that was sold before Alakazam bought the rights to it. Um, that video is shot in kind of like the back room of a magic shop. It's got dim lighting. Uh, both videos have multiple angles. Both, both videos teach through the conversation method. Uh, where the teachers work it out by talking to each other. The latter video though is longer and it has more tricks, more tips, and more handling. So it was a nice bonus for Peter Nardi to add that for you. Is it well made? This is a bicycle deck of cards. In fact, once you learn uh, the deck setup, you could possibly then make your own. How much practice does it require? Uh, there's no slides. So uh, I would say that in using the deck, it's more of a, it's more of a feel and it's more based on visual clues about uh, the height of your decks and your packets and just remembering uh, where things are in the stack, but uh, there aren't really slights per se to learn. How much setup and reset is there? Like I said earlier, it is a deck stack. Uh, it is a specific deck stack and you'll need to put your deck back into order um, if through performance you've left it shuffled. 
All right, so what are some of the positives? Positives are it's miracle looking magic. Uh, it's a magician fooler. I would think that this would fool magicians more than it would fool lay people because literally magicians know what to look for, what to expect, and I think you're gonna remove those options for them when they watch your trick. You do also get four tricks with this, so it's not a one hit wonder, and that's nice. Negatives, negatives are, uh, you know, the deck can't be inspected, you can't hand it out, uh, and you're gonna have the same force cards every single time. All right, so is it worth your money? It's $30. Uh, $30 for a full deck of cards and you're getting a 40 minute video with four tricks. Four tricks for 30 bucks and you get a full deck of cards to do the miracles with. I think that's well uh, in the wheelhouse of being worth your money. All right, so who would like this? Anybody who wants to do table hopping, anybody who likes card magic, anybody who likes trick decks, I think would love the ultimatum deck from Steve Brownlee. All right, so that is my review. Ultimatum deck from Steve Brownlee and Alec and Sam Magic. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.